uh, welcome friends uh, today here in this video we will rule the we will learn the divisibility rule of 3 and divisibility rule of 4 not the application of these rules but we will learn here how to generate how to derive these rules so after learning these two rules generation of this of the, these two rules one is one may be able to generate a rule for any other number so what i am doing here considering a number in which the digits are a b c d e for example 21045 is a number where 21045 are the digits similarly i am taking a number in general form where the digits are a b c d e but i use it the literals instead of numerals so as per the rule of algebra when literals are written uh, when literal when literals are written like i have written here so these are uh, see these seem to be in the product form like this is multiplied by b multiplied by c d and e so to making understand it or making the question clear i am putting this number in expanded form like here these are the digits so here e it is at the ones place and its value is on the e and d is at the tens place its value is 10 d similarly e at hundreds place and its value is 100 c and like the b at thousands place its value is thousand b and a at 10,000 place its value is 10,000 a now i have broken this number into parts that is one part is tens part is hundreds part thousands part and ten thousands part and if there uh, is some other digit so that may be expanded likely now i am going to divide these parts individually by three and observing what remains as a remainder so remainder in each part when divided by three so this is a unit digit it may be divisible by three it may or may not be divisible by three so i don't know sometimes it may be less than three it may be more than three or it may be equal to three so i am not dividing this by three but keeping as remainder it is now it is 10 d yeah we can say this is d times 10 when we divide 1 10 by 3 we get remainder 1 in d tens we get remainder d similarly when we divide 1100 by 1 100 by 3 we get remainder 1 and in c hundreds we get remainder c likely in 1000 b we get remainder b and 10000 a we get remainder a now i have divided this number by 3 parts are the number by 3 and obtain some remainder that is e d c b a now if the sum of these remainders is again divisible by 3 then i can say this complete number is divisible by 3 so what i write here if a plus b plus c plus d plus e that is this a this b c d and e these are remainders is divisible by 3 then the complete number is divisible by 3 but if you if we look only over the number this a b c d e are the actually the digits of the number so i can say if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by three then the complete number is divisible by three so this way we have generated the rule of three now we will move we will now move towards to generate the divisibility rule of four divisibility rule of 4 what is that so here again i am considering a number in general form a b c d e where a b c d e are the digits like here in 3 4 5 6 7 and writing this number in expanded form it's e at one place d at hundreds place c at uh, hundreds place b at thousands place and a at uh, here uh, I have forgotten to mention it is a into 10,000 so you may write it also now I am dividing each part of this number 
that is e 10 d 100 c 1000 b and 10,000 a here it is 10,000 a by 4 and observing what remains there so this is unit digit I know if it is divisible by 4 or not so I am keeping as it is now when I divide 10 by 2 10 by 4 I get remainder 2 so in a d tens I get remainder 2d so I am writing here 2d or simply or simply I am leaving it as it is the digit d I am leaving it as it is but when we divide 100 by 4 we get remainder 0 that is 100 is completely divided by 4 so in c hundreds we get 0 remainder similarly in 1000 we get remainder 0 in b thousands we get remainder 0 and in 10,000 we can get again remainder 0 and there will be no remainder in 8,000 10,000s so if there is some other digit some more digit here so again we will get no remainder now the divisibility of this number depends I have completely divide I have divided the number the parts of this number by 4 and get remainders as e and 2d that is uh, from this uh, that is from tens and ones place other than tens and ones place all the police are completely divisible by 4 there remains no remainder but only there is a, if there is remainder that is at the place of tens are ones so what I can say I can say only if the number made by these two digits that is tens and ones police digit is divisible by 4 then the complete number is divisible by 4 so I am writing here if the number formed by the digits D and E that is tens police digit and ones police digit is divisible by 4 then the complete number is divisible by 4 or I can also say if 2D plus E is divisible by 4 that is if the tens place digit I make twice plus the ones place digit if, if their sum is divisible by 4 then also the complete number is divisible by 4 so this way uh, we have derived the rules of divisibility of 3 and 4 hope you enjoy the video thank you